Mas chévere. Hola, Omar, ¿cómo estás? Uh, amigo, me gusta muchísimo este blog for the simple fact that you're making a quesadilla that I wouldn't have even thought of. Peanut butter and cheese quesadilla. Okay, the only thing I know that might actually improve it is if you do it on a flax-based quesadilla, uh, tortillas. And uh, well, for me, I'm lactose intolerant, so I'd replace it with uh, some uh, melted uh, goat cheese, mozzarella cheese, to be specific. It's firm. It's something that you can actually use for cooking. And uh, possibly on the outside, add uh, once everything's ready, before you actually slice it into its pieces, you take some apple butter. I'd use apple jelly because I prefer apple jelly for some odd reason. Maybe one, one teaspoon of apple jelly just to give it that extra sweetness on the outside. And then there you go. You've got yourself uh, an awesome breakfast sandwich. A unique breakfast sandwich, anyways. That said, uh, one that I remember doing it was more like a supper thing. Uh, it was a quesadilla con champignones y marmelada de... I can't remember what it is in Spanish. Yeah, cranberries and uh, blackberries mixed in together without sugar. Uh, the berries themselves are slightly tart and the blackberries are slightly sweet. So you just put it inside your quesadilla with your uh, toasted mushrooms already with cheese and then um, off you go you got yourself something to actually munch on it's actually a unique taste it's similar to yours except it's with uh, mushrooms and a cranberry jelly <laughs> or something similar to it anyways so thank you so very much for posting that I'm gonna have to go try it now don't know if I like the results but hey like you said don't knock it till you try it have a nice one.